Hey everyone, um, this is Kayla and today I'm going to be talking about housing and just like living at SCAD and um, dorm lifestyle and my roommate Caitlin is going to help me out with a little room tour and then we're going to just be talking about SCAD and we might also visit my friend's dorm and just show a different layout and yeah. Okay, hey guys, so we're gonna do a tour of our dorm. So this is like first when you like walk in and show them like the hallway. So like we have like a corner room. I think it's the same size, but yeah, let's, let's go on in. Insert your key like this. And you just go like that. And then here is the front entryway. So right off the bat, <laughs> um, <laughs> cover my laundry bag. <laughs> but we have um like closets, two closets. And um, yeah, so, but also keep in mind, like there's gonna be uh, three people and there's only two closets. So how we separated it is we each get one um, rack and then this one is just like extra stuff. Um, so yeah. And then behind you is the bathroom and- It's pretty small. Yeah, it's like not very cute. It's small, but she does it, you know? <laughs> and then, um, this is where we have our fridge and our microwave. And then this is like kind of like the full like overall layout. So yeah. The way that we set up our room, we wanted us to have like separate desk area. Yeah. And um, so that's why we set that up kind of differently than what you might see online for what uh, we have for Turner. Yeah, we just like we valued having your own space with like the desk. So it's desk, it's like bed, desk, bed, desk. and a lot of people have like an open like floor so like the beds are on the walls but we didn't do it that way but i will say because we did it this way like there's not a whole lot of walkway like mm -hmm. if i'm sitting in this chair and say like someone walks by like it's t it's like it's kind of tight yeah i'm not gonna lie um so yeah and then how we did it is we also put the dressers under the bed so like, yes Liz is under there but uh she like it's we lifted the beds and put the um, dressers. So the there. beds are at their like highest settings, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, other than that, um, it's three people for Turner. And I mean, I don't think that's gonna change. Anymore. Yeah, <laughs> especially for- Okay, so now I'm with my friend Charlotte. Hi vlog. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna check out her room and just show like a different way that you could set up Turner. It's the normal way. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go and do like a mini room tour of her room, um, and then you can compare and see what you guys would want to do with your room. So walking in already, you can see it's a little different with the big open area. And then in this room, they only have two people living here because the other roommate moved out. There's like a little couch for just like chilling. That's usually where I am and then the beds, and then, like I said, this big open area. Closet situation, kind of the same, but they added curtains, so like, you can have some more privacy if you wanted to. Bathroom's the same with the toilet and shower in one, and yeah. So this is like the courtyard, and also um, this is like Amigos, which is the um, like Mexican uh, food place, I guess. You can get like tacos, bowls. Um, it's basically like our Chipotle. Turner, oh, you can show them uh, the, the bridge. laundry. Oh, let, let's go in laundry. Laundry's kind of a mess right now. So like, don't do laundry on Sunday because that's when everyone does it. Me doing my laundry on Sunday right now. The best time, like, the best time to do it is like morning, like during the week. You know, everyone is in class and stuff. Okay, but look, that's such a sled. <laughs> um, so laundry like gets a little bit messy. Um, as you can see, huge puddle. But like, basically, this is what it looks like. There's more washers than there are dryers. Yeah. But, yeah, it's okay. Yes, so, you do so have to pay. You have to pay. Oh, <laughs> Stepping in the puddle. Like, you get an app where you just like load money on and it makes it easier. So I highly recommend getting the app because that way you don't have to bring your card like every time. And you just load money onto the app. And then there's another, there's two laundry rooms, like another one down this hall. You can see the bridge from here. 
Basically, there's a bridge connecting Turner to the Hive, so you can walk over, and then there's also Res Life down here, and then Be Well, and then there is a little like corner store yeah, under well, Turner C store, yeah, um, which you can use your diamond dollars for. Yes, and then there's also like two bathrooms, like outside, outside your dorms. Outside the door, so because like I will say that when you are sharing a room with like three people and. Like it's this the shower is in the bathroom. Like there are gonna be times where like someone's showering and like you have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Like me this morning. It <laughs> like it happens. No, but I kinda refuse to use the amigos bathrooms just because obviously they're not gonna be as clean as say to your standard or whatever, whatever. Um so we're walking downstairs and probably going towards the sea store. Nice, beautiful day today. Yeah. Very hot. It's like 80 degrees. Yeah. Or 85, I think. Mean, it's actually. like heating up. So. There's vending machines here. And then this is the uh, store. So, like, they have like everything in here. Like, you yeah. can literally get Tide Pods, drinks, food, everything you need. It's like a little gas station store. Almost like you can just grab whatever you want. And then this oh is the gosh, big it's courtyard. Like, it's such a good like day to film. Here. I know. It's so pretty outside. Uh, don't mind the trash. <laughs> but yeah, you can walk up to Amigos from here too. That's our dorm right there on that corner. Um, but yeah, it's just like a nice little courtyard. Everyone brings their bikes. I probably would want to bring a bike next year. Yeah, and if you bring a bike, like just bring like walks, of course. Yes. But there are like places where you can put your bike. And this is our Turner courtyard. There's like a little fountain. It's cute, yeah. you know? Come out here, do work, journal, whatever. These are kind of the rooms, so Turner's like an old motel so yeah. it's kind of like outside in yeah so like when you like leave your room like you go outside it's not really like a traditional like dorm like style which makes it problematic a little bit when it rains yeah but I, other than that like I'm fine yeah so there's a security desk up here and so you need your card to walk in the center so it's very so I'm gonna demonstrate <laughs> and mm -hmm. then boom now you're in turner all right so we're gonna head towards the bridge area connecting turner and the i guess like, as we're walking we can maybe like give you some tips on like turner lifestyle yes. like, what it's like okay so basically we mentioned it before but you're gonna have two other roommates um when we first applied though it was told that it was just gonna be two people in a room so we did have to adjust to accommodate a third person so just keep that in mind. Um, if you do choose to live at the Hive, however, that's gonna be four people in one suite. So two people per room, two rooms in a suite, um, one bathroom, and then a common area. Turner does not have a common area. Yeah. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Also like, um, like you saw like how like, it's like tight living, like the rooms are not very big. So like my biggest advice is like whoever you room with, like if you get the opportunity to like, you know, get to know them and like, be like aware of like how tight it is because like you know you want to live with like people that you connect really well with mm -hmm. so that's like my biggest advice is just like if you can like pick your roommates like pick them yeah and you'll have a great time definitely and um another thing about Turner is the desks are actually bigger mm -hmm. um we get drafting tables in Turner for some reason but when you go to the hive it's kind of like um, regular desks. Oh, also, I just remembered something. If you want to, like, change, like, if you want to bring your own chair or anything, like, you cannot take out any of the furniture mm. that's in the, like, the, um, in Turner. So, like, I wanted to take out my desk because, like, I didn't want to study there. I wanted more space. They don't, you're not allowed to do that. They don't have anywhere to put it. So, whatever you bring, it has to be, it has to stay there. Nothing, like, leaves. Yeah, and if you did want to, like, say, get rid of that drafting table, you would probably have to just put it on your bed. Um, yeah, like, there's no room. And then there's less space for you there. Yeah. Um, this is the SCAD bridge, Turner Bridge, as people call it. Um, the mail room is actually right under us. It's, like, under this bridge part. But that's um, the community garden, which SCAD serve takes care of. And um, I'm pretty sure you can pick stuff from there and, like... Yeah get some stuff they have just like little plants and like flowers yeah. um but this is kind of like the main area so this is yeah. looking back at turner and then um this is the parking garage so like that's where you have to park if you live in turner yes so i park there and um 
Yeah, so like whether you live in the Hive or Turner, you have to park in that garage, which is a little inconvenient, but yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, like it's a little inconvenient. Like the Turner Bridge, like walking like all the way up, like whatever, it's okay. It's fine. It works, it's fine. A lot of people do sit out on the bridge right here because there's like these little benches that are cute. Um, but it's kind of hot today, so mm -hmm. my butt just like burned. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like other stuff we could talk about for um, Turner. We had a list, but I left it in the room. <laughs> Turner can sometimes get loud at night, um, especially on the weekends when people are like out and doing stuff late. Um, but we also keep our window open. Yeah, we do keep our window open. Um, you can control like the temperature in your room. Mm -hmm. um, we bring, we also brought fans because like it does get pretty hot here, especially in September. Like when yes. everyone is moving in, like it's really hot. So that's a good thing to have. Bring a fan. Very also, humid. Also, um, like less is always better as yes. far as like whatever you bring to your dorm. Like I'm a fashion major and like I love clothes and like I did bring probably too many clothes and like not not the best move you know only bring what you absolutely need and if you need to you know bring more things mm -hmm. we're only here for like 10 weeks the first quarter and then you go back in november wherever if you can so especially for fall it's gonna still be very much hot yes. you're in the south and like i would bring tanks your yes. uh short sleeve shirts like i wouldn't bring sweaters until winter quarter no, it's not gonna cool down like in it's in not October, it was still super hot very very hot um which is nice yeah um good weather but you know i was bringing sweaters fall quarter and i didn't even touch them yeah, I, so. I have maybe like two sweatshirts like i don't wear a whole lot of sweatshirts and i have maybe two sweatshirts that i brought and i like barely wear them here honestly. yeah it just gets way too hot like it's very hot here. Yeah. It does cool down a little bit in the winter. So like um, January, when we came back, like it was a little bit chilly. Yeah. So just be prepared for that and just bring some sweaters or some uh, warmer clothes after break. And Turner also like, you're able to access anything in the hive, even if you're in Turner. Um, you, we have the Scadfit gym um, at Hive that you can go to even if you live at Turner. And there's also, um, Club Scad, which is at O House, which is like a short walk, which is kind of upperclassmen living. Um, and then obviously the Hive Cafe, you can eat there too. Um, um, but the only thing about like Scad Fit and Club Scad is like I go to the gym like a lot, and something that like I had to get adjusted to was like their hours. So they do close at five. Yeah, pretty early. Um, on the weekends, like Fridays through Sundays, they close early at like five. And then on the week night or week weekdays, so like Monday through Thursday, I think they close at like nine, which is like later. But um, like on Sunday, they don't open till 12. So yeah. some of their hours are a little, um, you're gonna have to get adjusted to that. Like there have been times where I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym and it's like, they're not open. So you kind of have to adjust to that. But there are also gyms in Savannah if you want to get gyms. Yeah gym memberships um but yeah they're great facilities they also have classes and stuff um and then also like as far as key cards go like you can't get into any other dorm but your dorm yes like for, if you live in turner i don't know i don't think in the hive i don't think in the hive if you can't get into any of the other buildings but like people from the hive can just walk through turner and like knock on someone's door we can't even get into the building to knock on someone's yeah. door i remember yesterday i was trying to visit a friend in colony and i had to wait outside until someone came out so that i could go in and go up to their room yeah. um so like that can be a little bit of an inconvenience yeah um but just always have your key card on you yeah because like if you don't have your key card you can't get in and then it's 25 dollars every time you get like you if you lose yeah. your key card it's and you get like one free pass i'm pretty sure yeah, so like, and then what they call that. them lockouts yeah. so we will, i got locked out of my room like two weeks ago or something i just walked out without my room <laughs> my key card and um it was a lockout is what they called it, but you only get one per quarter. So thank goodness I, this is the first one for spring quarter, mm -hmm. but it's $25 every time. So Crazy, like, like insane. Mm -hmm. You don't so, want to be paying that. A lot of kids, they get like the phone card holders, like for their phones. Yeah. So you can get that because like your key card truly gets you everywhere. It's also what you use to for meal swipes. And to get on the buses, um, actually Turner has the bus stops closer to them. Um, so like there's different routes to get to different halls. And so Turner has like most of the stops like right outside of it. If you're at Hive, you're gonna have to walk up to Turner. Um, there are direct bus routes at the Hive, but they don't go to all the halls that you might need to go to. 
The Hive and Turner, wherever you end up living for your freshman year, you could also live in Chatham. That's an option. Yes. But if you live in the Hive and Turner, super great location to downtown, walkable. Very um, close to Broughton, which is yeah. like the main like shopping street near here. Yeah. I would say like it's actually like it's a fine, like it's a good freshman like dorm experience. Yeah. Did we say the Hive Cafe? Yeah, I, I did mention the Hive okay, Cafe. Yeah. That so, has a little bit more options yeah. than Amigos. So the Hive Cafe is the other option. There's two options in the, this Hive area um, of dining, which is the Hive Cafe, which is like a buffet style, and then um, Amigos. A lot of people diss Hive Cafe. Like, it's okay. I'm not going to say Ugh. it's like the best. Like, it's not the best. Like, it's not it's good. Not that, <laughs> it's not that great. All right. You gotta do like what you gotta do, okay? Like you can if you make it work, like make it work. Um, it's college food, like at the end of the day, you have to eat. Yeah, like so. it's college food. Like it's not like the greatest, but like there are other options. Um, like yes, it, around. Uh, so like explore your options. I think there are like I don't know how many, but there are several. So there's um, Carnival, which is at Montgomery. Yeah, House. and it has like sushi and like really good like food. Yeah. Um, they also have Bike Cafe, which is also in Monty. They have Boathouse, which is in Victory Village. Um, what else? What am I? Oh, O House has a uh, buffet kind of thing, kind of like the Hive. Yeah. Um, am I missing one? Chatham. Oh yeah, Chatham. That's newer. Mm -hmm. um, and then I guess next year they're building River House, which will supposedly have a dining hall. Yeah. I don't know what's going to be in there because it's not finished yeah. being built. But yeah. really just like be open to um, trying new places. And if you can take a bus, like there are buses that you can take to get to these dining. Um, and yeah, like it's definitely, it's okay. For my like first two quarters, I had the like largest meal plan. I think it was like 17 meals a week or something. And it restart, like it restarts um, every- Every Thursday. Thursday. But this one was also like timed. So yes. it was like a four hour time limit. So like if you, swiped like your meal card you had to wait four hours to before you could again. again that's what i have right now it's really annoying which i'm actually. not even gonna lie like i don't recommend that one i don't know what if it was like b or c i'm not quite sure i think it's b yeah. that's what i have i'm not quite sure but i don't recommend getting that one because like for me in my lifestyle like i like to get a coffee after my breakfast or i want to get like a coffee after my 8 a.m say or something like that yeah and then i also got breakfast like you can't do that and so if that works out for you, like that's that's all right. It just kind of depends on what your lifestyle is like. You just have to be yeah. mindful. And of you can it. also change it. So I changed yes. it um, for my spring quarter to the 100. It's like 135 or something meal swipes. Yeah. Whatever is the one that has like per quarter, per quarter, and per it just week. like it just deducts, and you can use them. You can swipe them whenever. You just kind of got to be aware of how many you're using. Yeah. Um, but that has been that has worked out for me a little bit more than the four hour time limit one. And if like you do run out of meal swipes, like they'll let you eat like oh, yeah. they're not gonna let you starve the mail room you get an email um when you get mail to your student email account um so yeah. you'll always know like if you get like a package or a letter you don't have to just continuously like check yeah so like if you get um if you get a notification from wherever they are sending your mail like if it's from amazon and they're like your package has been delivered wait till you get the email from them yes like, from, from the scad mail room. because you can go wait in line and if they don't say like you got it like you're not gonna be able to pick up your package even though it says it's been delivered mm -hmm. it takes a minute for them to process it's usually not too long probably like a day max yeah yeah um and then there's also amazon lockers down at the hive that you can um deliver straight to an amazon locker if you want to do that um, that you don't have to wait on an email. You can just go down there whenever it says it's delivered. There's also B Fuel down at the Hive. So B Fuel is kind of like our coffee, um, Starbucks drinks, um, like little things that you can get to eat. Um, but you can use your dining dollars and your meal plan for that as well. Yeah, I would definitely take advantage of that um, because yeah, they serve um, like Starbucks, but they have pretty much like Starbucks. Like it is Starbucks. Yeah, it's like our, our little Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah, <laughs> but there's also like actual Starbucks on Broughton, and then there's one on Bay Street. Yeah. Um, so like, say like they're out of your strawberry refresher. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we get. Um, if you're if they're out of it, like you could just walk up to Broughton and get yeah. it um, really quick. Great city. I love Savannah. I love Scad. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's it I think for that's like it living as far and as, like, stuff. Our living and just a little bit of our little like tips and tricks yeah. for freshman year. 
if you choose SCAD, like you're gonna have a great time and it's definitely like a really fun school. So. If you have any questions or like want yes. us to elaborate on anything, like we can make another video about um, other stuff besides living and like um, dorm. Like, yeah, maybe like go to our favorite spots in Savannah. Or like um, class registration, just like classes for yeah. uh, your majors, just anything you might have questions yeah. about, um, we'd be happy to answer. Yes. So yeah, all right. Bye guys. Bye.